Morning guys, so it's just past 6 in the morning, uh, we thought we'd get up early today and go beat the rush to Taroko Gorge, have a wander around there, so we're looking forward to it, uh, got to wake up, but I'll see you there. So we're up nice and early, it's about 25 to 7, uh, the bus leaves at 7, we're just going to go pop in 7-Eleven to get some water and maybe some snacks or something, I don't know what to expect. But I've heard it's one of the most well-known and beautiful national parks in uh, Taiwan. So I suppose, yeah, let's do it. So if you guys are curious what Walian or Taiwan looks like before 7 a.m., you can really tell that this country is very much a night country. All about their night markets, all about their nighttime lively culture. This is a bit different. It's so still here. It's quite soothing. So just our luck, uh, we just found out that Taroko is actually closed today, or at least not the main trail is, because I've got a marathon on. Unfortunately, the bus station man, kind as he is, made a mistake. So the Taroko Gorge is actually completely closed today for the marathon until 2 p.m. He said we can go after that. However, in Taiwan it gets dark and be a five. So after we get up there half an hour, and they're going to get really like two, two and a half hours of daylight. So we sort of thought we'll just push it back and we'll, we'll go tomorrow. So we'll see you then. <laughs> okay, guys, take two and fingers crossed we actually get there this time. See you then. Hey guys, so we finally made it to Troco Gorge. Uh, we're going to do the Shakadan Trail today, and I suppose just follow along, we'll take you on the journey. So the Shakadan Trail is four to six hours, so Jess and myself are going to be here all day, we're going to be strolling through, we're showing news, everything we can, but just off the bat, this is actually absolutely stunning. So we're probably about half an hour in. And this place is absolutely stunning. Oh, I cannot get over how beautiful this is. The waters are so blue, like crystal blue. Uh, just everything around it, the serenity of the scenery, it's awesome. But the hike itself is actually quite easy. Like We're not puffed or anything. It's sort of just a pretty flat-ish path. So, so far, so good. Only another maybe five, six hours to go. A bit over an hour in, walk still pretty cruisy, like it's all pretty level and, and nice, still just as stunning as ever. However, we keep seeing these signs that are like rock slide, um, so we have to sort of keep moving through to paint less rocks that fall down quite regularly. So, hopefully, we don't see any of them. Fingers crossed. So we just walked up probably maybe three k's on this trail and we've just come to a sign that says it's prohibited entry. There might have been like a rock slide or something, but it's closed off. So we've done probably an hour and a half of this six hour trail. So we're going to have to sort of double back now, maybe do another shorter trail. It's a bit disappointing, but oh well, so far we've seen just stunning views. I'm not complaining, let's be honest. As we're walking back, uh, we saw this lab with a store that has these Aboriginal mountain lit sea sausages. And it comes with this, whatever this is as well. So you're meant to go one for one. So let's give this a crack, I reckon. Oh -ha. Hey 
That's unbelievable. That's so nice. Oh. No, you have to give these a crate. If you ever see these Aboriginal sausages, give them a go. <laughs> it's actually unreal. So we just finished up the Shackadan Trail. It was unbelievably stunning. Unfortunately, like we only probably did maybe a third of it because it was closed. Not overly sure why, probably, I think it was like a landslide or something like that. But nonetheless, it was absolutely beautiful. We loved it. The walk itself wasn't too bad. But now we're off to the next one, so I'll see you there. So we're at the Bluen Mendacor Trail at the moment. Uh, this one's not too long. It's only, I think, 300 metres once I get there. But I think it's pretty cool to check out. We're probably going to call it a day after this one. We didn't hit as many trails as we wanted to. One of them was closed, our luck as per. And we actually sort of, we've been here for probably five or six hours and just myself getting quite tired. Uh, the sun was really heavy earlier, so I think we're just a bit hot and worn out. We'll give this one a crack and we'll see how we go. Jess has ditched me for this leg. Uh, she's at the, my cafe getting a drink and get something to eat. But I don't know, she's missing out. Look at this, this is absolutely stunning. There's absolutely no one here as well, so I get this whole trail to myself, and it's so peaceful and beautiful, and I'm loving every moment of this. So we're just wrapping up now. We thought we'll wait at the Yangzaku Trail. Uh, just looked stunning over here. Um, I've had an awesome day. Troco is beautiful. It's honestly probably the beautiful, most beautiful place I've been to at this stage in my life. But yeah, I guess we'll see you at home before I go. Take a look at this. So we just got back from Troco Gorge. Uh, Jess and myself are quite exhausted. It was sort of a big long day of walking around and that. Um, overall, I loved it. It was so beautiful. And although some of the tracks were cut short or not open at all, we had a ball. Like, I, I had such a good time. It was so beautiful there, it was awesome. If anyone's ever in the area, definitely worth checking out. I can understand why it's called the Jewel of Taiwan. There's, there's a reason why it's probably the hottest tourist spot in Taiwan, like it's, it's stunning. I don't have much else to say, like it's awesome. I'm a bit tired now, so I suppose we'll see you in the next one.